Okay, so you have your evaporative cooler, it's running, and then suddenly it seems like perhaps the ultrasonic transducer isn't working anymore. It's not spraying out any moisture out of the unit. And perhaps the element is drying up and it's just not functioning like it once was. I'm gonna walk you through what I've done to mitigate that when it happens. And so far it's worked for me on all of the four units that I have. That is the Arctic Air Pure Chill. This is the Basin Mini Air Cooler, which has a visible ultrasonic transducer. And the Arctic Air Ultra. What for me usually happens is we have hard water. It builds up scale inside the unit. And so every month or so, I'll use a combination of distilled water and vinegar, spray down the inside of the unit, wipe it all up after about 30 minutes. And then in particular, I will flood the ultrasonic transducer with vinegar and water. And so I just spray this until the ultrasonic transducer is covered with a mixture of vinegar and water. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. If you can use distilled water that way, you're not introducing more mineral heavy water into this when you're trying to clean it. After about a half an hour, what I'll do is get some kind of bristle brush or a toothbrush and just get in there and gently brush the ultrasonic transducer. You don't want to push on it too hard. It's fragile, but it's not like you, if you're just gently brushing it that you will break it or anything like that. But you don't want to break the seal that's around it because there is like a silicon seal around it, which you can see better on this one, that it has like a silicon ring. And if you push down too much on it, you might break that seal and then water will just leak out of it. The whole intent is just to basically get in there and just brush. There's visible buildup on there. Our water isn't hard enough for there to be visible buildup on the disc itself, but we get it on the inside of the unit where it's spraying down and you can see actually on this one, you can see a little bit of white crud that's just calcium carbonate dust, I believe. If you can see debris on there, then just, yeah, go ahead and brush it out until, you, until that is, is gone. Then give it a really good rinse. You don't want to turn it on when it's got the vinegar and water solution because it'll atomize the vinegar and it's, wow, is it intense. And probably isn't great for you to be breathing. So make sure you give it a really good rinse and then try to do it on a day when you can have your windows open so that you can properly ventilate this when you do fill it up with water because you'll get a little bit of vinegar going through it initially. Also, after you've rinsed it out and are powering it up with that first refill of water after cleaning it, remove the filter so that you're not pushing vinegar water into the filter, otherwise you'll keep, you'll keep smelling it. So that's what I do. And I haven't had the ultrasonic transducer stop working, but it has happened where they've slowed down to the point where it seems like they're not working. Like the filter gets dry or I don't hear it really. And this is what I've done. I've just done vinegar and water, let it sit for half an hour, then brush it for maybe two to five minutes gently, rinse it out, fill it with water again, power it on and take the filter out, let it dispense for five to 10 minutes, put the filter back in, good to go. So I hope that helps anyone who's having issues with their evaporative coolers, not atomizing the water like it was before. Hopefully that helps fix issues with them because they're generally pretty good and this should resolve that, hopefully. If it doesn't, leave comments down below and we'll see what else we can take a look at to discover what might be going on with things like this, but generally that seems to work. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.